Hello everyone, uh, this is Melvin Gaines and I'm pleased to present our new endeavor in expanding our Bible study offering for Akron Alliance Fellowship Church. As we have had to go virtual for the vast majority of our online meetings over the past year, we are now preparing to use the virtual program Zoom to allow for greater interaction as we focus on Bible studies. This will be a virtual meeting that we plan to use all year long as we find ways to continue to connect together as a church while we remain highly focused on God's Word and His purpose for our church. Our Zoom Bible study will be beginning later this month in April and will be scheduled for the fourth Sunday of every month. In order for participants to get acquainted with using Zoom, we will have a practice session on Friday, April 23rd at 7.30 p.m. It is highly recommended that everyone who is interested in participating in this study make it a point to join us on Friday the 23rd at 7.30 to do a dry run and make it easy to connect each month when the Bible study begins. The first Zoom Bible study is scheduled for 5 p.m. on Sunday, April 25th. When we get together, we will confirm the start time for future studies if we can come to an agreement on the meeting time. The expectation is that a Bible study will last a minimum of one hour, but go no longer than 90 minutes. This will allow for each user to block the appropriate time each month for these meetings. This presentation is to explain what Zoom is and how to use it with your available electronic devices. It will require an email address or cell phone number to receive meeting notifications. The best way to have an interactive Bible study online is through Zoom. Zoom is a video conference meeting program. To participate in Zoom, you do not need a Zoom account. I have a Zoom account that will be used for our Bible study meetings or for any online gatherings. Before the date of the first meeting, you will want to download the application on your smartphone iPhone or Android or tablet, iPad or Android, or the program on your computer, Mac or PC. For the best experience, it is recommended that you use a computer or tablet for these meetings. On the day of the Bible study meeting, you will need to click on the Bible study link that will be provided by email. On your iPad or iPhone, open the App Store and search for Zoom. For Android, go to the Google Play Store. You will find an entry for Zoom Cloud Meetings. The entry may look like the one here. The button in the upper right, hand, upper right will be a Get button, an Open button, or a Download icon. If you had not used Zoom before, click, to get, click on the Get button to download the app to your iPad. If you have used Zoom before but the app is not on your device, click the Download button. If you have used Zoom before, look for the app on your device. If you open the app, you will see the screen on the right. It looks like a person in the middle of a circle of different uh, items. Close the app and wait for the link to arrive via your email. You do not need to sign up or sign in. At the time of the meeting, go to the email provided and click on the Bible study link. If you are using a computer, we strongly recommend that you load the Zoom client before the day of the first meeting. If you use a Mac or PC, it is assumed that you have a camera on your device. If you don't, you may want to consider using a phone or tablet, otherwise you will only be able to use the audio feature. To load the Zoom client, open your web browser and search for zoom.us. On the Zoom web page, there is a resources drop-down menu at the top of the page. In the drop-down list, select the Download Zoom Client link. Click the Download button on the selection Zoom Client for Meetings. 
Load the program that downloads and do not open it. You do not need to sign in or sign up for Zoom services. The program will sit in the background waiting for use when you go to an actual meeting. On the day of the Bible study, click the link in the Bible study email and the program will be opened to the meeting. Prior to the day of the Bible study meeting, you will receive an email with a link for the Bible study meeting. On the day of the meeting, at least 10 minutes prior to the start of the session, click on the link and join in the session. Once you are in the session, you'll be asked to allow Zoom access to your camera and microphone. Please reply, yes. Please also select the internet audio or call over internet option for your participation in the meeting. There are two views provided by Zoom, a speaker view and a gallery view. On the top of the screen on the left side for a tablet and the right side for a computer, there is a button that allows you to switch your view between these two choices. The button may say gallery view or switch to speaker view or switch to gallery view. The preferred option is the gallery view where everyone's pictures shows on the screen. Depending on the number of people and the size of your screen, there may be several pages of gallery photos. With practice, you can scroll across the pictures to see everyone. The other option is speaker view. This view shows the speaker in the middle of the screen and smaller views of other participants on the edge of the screen. This view works best when one person is presenting or sharing their screen, like when the video is showing. In either case, your viewing option is a matter of taste. For Zoom, the user's best practice is to mute your audio when you are not speaking, particularly in large meeting sessions. After you have had a chance to say hello, click the mute audio button. Click on or tap the screen and you will see the controls. The mute audio feature may be in words or a microphone icon. Clicking on the icon turns off your microphone and clicking on it again turns it on. When the icon has a slash on it, the audio is muted. The meeting host has additional controls where a meeting can have sessions for smaller groups if needed. These will be timed events and will likely be necessary as the size of the meeting participates or participants increases. All meetings will involve time for prayer and reflection, and it is asked that all participants mute their microphones during prayer time. In order to receive an invitation to a Zoom Bible study session, please provide your current email address to Melvin Gaines. And that email address is gains.melvin at gmail.com. Provide this as soon as possible. This is the preferred method of invitation. You will receive Zoom meeting invitations at your provided email address. In order to participate, select the device you want to use to participate in the Zoom meeting by clicking on the email link for that device, whether it be a phone, tablet, or computer. If you do not have an active email address and want to participate in the Zoom Bible study, please provide your current cell phone number. In order to receive an invitation, you must need to be able to receive text messages. Your invitation will come through a text message. Once you receive your Zoom meeting invitation, you can select the link on your phone to participate. If you have the ability to receive texts on a linked tablet or computer, it is recommended that you select a link from those devices for the best, best Zoom meeting experience. We hope you can spread the word and join us. Remember the dates. The Zoom practice session is Friday, April 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The first Zoom Bible study meeting, which will be happening every month on the fourth Sunday, will be Sunday, April 25th 
at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. All are welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this Zoom Bible study meeting help.